I'm definitely feeling the autumnal vibes again today. This is a wee dress, I'm going to quickly mention it's from River Island but I think it might have sold out. If it is available I'm going to link it but yeah I am really loving this autumn print, the colours today. Feeling very autumnal. I have my gingerbread candle on. Now this isn't a Yankee candle, it's the Home Bargains copycat one. It's Wickford & Co but lovely. So I don't know why don't know why I've explained all that. Today's video is a wee bit different. It's a brand I haven't ever featured on my channel. It's, it's, I do have a couple of wee bits and bobs from them, like kind of like polo necks and that sort of things, but Primark, they're a shop. I do like them, but I can only frequent their stores maybe like three times a year. If I'm honest, I find it too stressful. I don't know if anyone else finds this. I find their stores to be just boiling. <laughs> I'm always in there and I think the way it works, you end up carrying a lot of stuff. You're then sweating carrying the stuff. You're trying to get to the change room. There's a huge queue at the till. <laughs> it's, it's not a relaxing shopping experience, I find. However, I do think they, they can be really on trend. They are, are, of course, very affordable and they do do some good stuff, but yeah, I don't find it the easiest shop to shop in. But I was in, I think it was last week, and it was a weekday, I was in town, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go in. I actually texted both my sister and Jack be like, does anyone need anything from Primark? Because I think they're both like, no, we're fine. <laughs> I just thought, you know, if anyone needs something, because I think it's a good place for like socks, tights, jumpers. Anyway, I'm gonna show you. Here's my little bag of stuff that I bought and I've also got one more thing over there. I picked up some wee bits and bobs. I feel like they're really kind of my style. So the sort of Blair, Blair Waldorf, a little bit 60s kind of vibe. So that's kind of what I've gone, that's kind of what this video is going to be about really, but I'm just going to get on with it. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm sorry about that really rambly intro. My name is Leslie. Let's get started. Okay, so this is the first piece here. So you can see it is quite a nice houndstooth coat and this this is a coat or style of coat that I have been looking for for a wee while. I love houndstooth, I have like houndstooth skirts but I quite like the idea of having a coat and then you can just throw over maybe like a slightly more simple outfit or even with a houndstooth skirt. I thought it looked quite cute. I'm not a hundred percent sure so when I was there so I picked up a size 10, they didn't have a size 8 in stock and I do think this is one of these pieces that was selling out quite fast. They did have like a good amount of other sizes but nothing smaller than a 10 and I have found that before if you're looking for like a 10 it can be quite hard to get. So I just picked it up, decided to take it but I haven't really decided because, well the thing is it was £35 and it's, it's quite thick, it feels as if it would have some warmth to it but I can kind of tell by the way it's sort of just cut is not really fitting as as nicely as I would like. I think what I'll do is I'll pop it on just now and then I'll also pop it on over one of the other outfits so you can see as well. So there's no like button here or anything to fasten it. You just have to do this. In fact, there's no buttons at all. So you literally just do this and then it's got like the wrap tie, which I do like because it really accentuates the waist. Let me see what that looks like. I feel like it is a little bit too here just a bit too sort of bulky and big and then I feel like a little bit here there's a bit of excess material I just I prefer a more fitted look in a coat oh see when I step back I feel like that's not too bad of a silhouette it's kind of I feel like it's this bit here so an eight I probably would have gone for if had they had it but you know this is this is one of the things it's quite hard to get your sizing sometimes so I thought this was a really good buy I mean 35 pounds I can't really think of another brand you would get a coat like reasonable quality for that kind of price. So I think what I will do is I'm gonna pop it on with one of the other outfits and I'll show you like a full length shot. But this was the first piece. If you are looking for a houndstooth coat, definitely suggest popping into Primark because I think for 35 pounds, it is a really good deal. But I'm gonna move on for just now and I will, I will return back to this coat. So our next piece is this little skirt here, which I have to say I'm really impressed with. I'm definitely keeping it. I just think 
It's very my style and I feel like it's going to be quite a versatile piece because I think you could do a lot with it. I've already tried it on with two different tops. I liked it with both. So yeah, I decided to keep this and this was £10. I mean really and what I will say is the quality of this one is actually really nice it's not thin like I don't know whether see when I hold that up you might think like this style of skirt could be quite a thin material but it's actually quite thick um yeah and actually it's kind of got a slight double layering because of this flap at the front so it is it's actually quite warm and yeah for £10 I thought that is a bargain so basically what I'm going to style it with today is I think just a black polo neck maybe black over the knee boots and black Gucci belt, I think. So I think I will show this to you on as we look together because I think actually this is a really good buy. And they also had it in a sort of beige color, which I decided not to go for because I kind of am looking for more this style of skirt in a camel, whereas I would say it was a beige. But if you're looking for that kind of skirt, pop in, see what you think. But I'm gonna come back once this is put together as a full look. Here I am back with it put together. So it's basically just, as I said, like a really simple black polo neck. Just gonna fix the color there. Um, my Gucci belt and then the gray skirt. I've got on those sort of like barely black or nearly black, whatever they're called, tights. And then my just like over the knee boots. So, and I just feel like this is a really cute outfit. It's giving me sort of Rachel and Friends vibes, kind of a little bit Gossip Girl as well. Yeah, I just think this skirt is a really good, kind of staple piece I think it's going to be really easy to style different ways like I think it looked nice with a white blouse I think I've got another Zara blouse which is black with a little white collar I think all of that yeah a bit more gossip girl as well I just thought this was a really cute little outfit and yeah so I'm definitely keeping the skirt I think for £10 what a bargain I'm going to just show you with the coat on top as well just so we can kind of see because this is kind of an outfit that I would probably wear with this and I do think it is giving it a little bit of extra, but I'm just, it's, it's the fit of the coat I'm just not absolutely in love with. And yeah, I just feel like I'm missing like the wee button there and then a button there and then just to help pull it over. But I do think for £35, it, again, a really good price. And I actually, I think I actually did see this on someone else's Instagram story. So obviously it is probably getting picked up by a few people. I just happened to see it in store and I just thought I'll give it a go but the jury's out on this one I still haven't decided. I'm going to move on now to the next piece. So this is the next little item that we have and this is a skirt I'd seen on my way in. I didn't pick it up to try it on and then on my way to the checkout I thought oh do you know what I'll just try it. They didn't have any size 8 or 10 so I actually picked up a 6 which it actually fits okay because it's high waisted so it's kind of sitting on my waist and the length is actually not too bad. I will say this is it's really like a tissue, like <laughs> it's so thin, but I loved the 60s kind of style of it. I loved the kind of psychedelic print. Also loved the colors because I feel like you could get like a really nice chocolatey brown jumper, maybe even a bit of orange. You could also wear black with it. I think it's a really versatile skirt. So I think I'm gonna keep it, but I am disappointed like really Considering this skirt was £10 and the quality is actually really nice, I think this should really have been like £5. <laughs> but it was 10 as well. I think for winter, it's it's not actually see-through or anything like that, but I think for winter you would probably need a wee bit more warmth, really. But I will show it to you on and maybe just keep it on with this jumper or I'll maybe pop on like a white polo neck just to show you. But I do think kind of 60s style, it is quite cute. So I just kept on the black because I thought actually this goes quite nice. I'm going to tip the camera, but it always goes dark when I do that. But this gives you a wee idea. Isn't this quite cute? The only thing I would say is it's slightly weirdly like sewn or something. The length is kind of going up at places, but maybe that it shouldn't. I don't really know. I actually, I think when I first tried it on, I actually put it on back to front just because it seemed to be slightly longer at the front than at the back when I had it on. Maybe it's just my shape, I don't really know. But yeah, I feel like it's not too bad of a length considering it's probably not actually my correct size. And you know, for these sorts of skirts, sometimes they are just too short for me. But yeah, I actually thought this was a really unique kind of look. And I think again, like really versatile. I think you could bring in lots of autumnal colors. And I, th I just thought this was a, a nice piece. So. That's me kind of moving on from that one as well. Now, let me know what you think, because this one's a bit more out there, isn't it? Let me just see what else I actually... Okay, so I'm gonna just quickly show you these because 
I, I think to be honest, I am going to return them. I basically, so I have little patent shoes from Prada, which I absolutely love. They're very Blair. They're kind of like Tory Burch kind of style. They've got a li little heel and just like a nice little round toe, patent black, but they are so uncomfortable. <laughs> like, honestly, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I bought them from um, an outlet. It was actually Mr. Village. And I loved them and I thought they were perfect. Like when I was doing like whiskey tastings and stuff, like they're a little heel, but not too high. So I could like walk around and get all, everything set up. But they cut right in, right across the front of your foot. Basically where that bone, bone is, it, it hits right on there. And I just, I've tried everything. I've had them sort of like uh, widened slightly. I've had, I've put like a little pad at that point. I can wear them and I can walk in them but not really, like I could wear them to dinner, that would be fine, but I couldn't do a lot of walking in them. So I was looking for like a black patent shoe to wear with these kind of outfits, like the previous one, maybe with like the Gucci tights or quite fancy doing like a sort of ankle sock kind of look. So I saw these and I just thought, these are quite nice, I like the vibe. They were only 10 pounds, but I'm just not sure because even I've tried them on, I just think my legs kind of need like a little heel. Like, I don't know, I just think I look a little bit stumpy in them. <laughs> and yeah, I just think a little heel, whereas obviously they are just flat. I don't know, I don't know. I'm not sure on them, but I did think for 10 pounds, that is a really good buy. And I think my sister has a pair from Russell and Bromley and really from a distance, you wouldn't know the difference. Obviously you are gonna know eventually, like these are probably not gonna last that long, but, I think as a little black patent shoe, this is actually really cute. So I'm just now moving on and this is actually the last item I think. So this is basically a dress that I saw hanging up. Sorry, I think it's inside out. I saw hanging up and I thought, do you know what? I really like the colors of that. I quite like the style. And I, yeah, I tried it on and I thought, do you know what? I like it. So I just decided to take it. I think Primark's one of these shops, you kind of have to just you know, make a decision there and then I'm gonna, gonna take it and then try it on when you get home and just really have a look. So I really like this dress. I think it's quite Blair. I think it's very, I think it's actually quite a cool style. Like I can imagine wearing this and feeling quite trendy, quite like in Glasgow, we see like a trendy West Endy, someone that like, you know, lives in the West End, like West End has quite a unique style. Um, in fact, it's not really, it's a style you just cannot really describe. It's just, kind of whatever and I kind of feel like I would I would feel like that in this dress the only thing I'm not sure about is actually what footwear to go because it's quite a long length so it's kind of mid shin so I think like an ankle boot would be the best but I don't have like a burgundy toned one and and I've got like a nude ankle boot and it doesn't look right so this this is the thing I don't really want to have to go out and buy boots just to go with this dress if that makes sense but I do really like it and I love the autumnal colours so I'll try this one on and then you can let me know what you think. Right darlings, what do we think? This is it on. I like it. I really like, I feel very sophisticated. I feel a little bit Adele like, do you know like Adele kind of wore dresses like this but also a little bit kind of Stevie Nicks. I don't really know why. It's reminding me of that scene. Has anyone seen the School of Rock? That bit when they're in the car. <laughs> Are you in the car? No, they're in a bar. Yeah, I feel like it's a little bit Fleetwood Mac, Stevie Nicks kind of vibe. Yeah, it is the footwear, although, so I've just kept on my black boots, which I don't obviously think are gonna go with this because the colors are definitely more kind of brown tones. Although, it's not, it is actually black, so, so maybe. And it doesn't look as bad as I thought with taller boots because I don't really like that look of, do you know like a, a midi skirt and then high boots, like up, up to your knee boots and then like a long skirt, I'm not, that's not really my style, so that's what I was a bit worried about it. But actually, I think this is a really nice dress. And I think if you wore this and styled it with some accessories, no one would guess it was pre-mark. So this was £15. I think I got the size maybe 8 or 10. Let me just check. 8. So I, was, I think I was lucky to get the size 8 in this. The grey skirt was also an 8. I meant to say that. And then the other one was a 6. Yeah, I said that. So... Yeah, well, what do you think? I, I actually think I'm going to keep this. And I, I was thinking like a wee belt would be quite nice as well. I have a brown 
it's like an old Dolce & Gabbana belt, like a, just like a brown leather, which I think could go, but I also think a little skinny belt would look nice, whereas this is thicker, but yeah, I have to say, I just think this is a really classy piece and I quite like it with the like gold hoops that I'm wearing as well. I feel like that is, that's a bit of a vibe. So that is me really reached the end of today's video. I don't know, I don't feel like this was as long, but hopefully you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of my choices. Let me know, is Primark a brand that you'd like to see a bit more of? It's not, as I said, it's not somewhere that I do go that often. I kind of limit myself to like three to four times a year. I, Cause I actually don't go into town that much at all. So yeah, let me know, let me know what your favorite. Should I keep the houndstooth coat? I feel like the price is good, but then I'm also like, would I rather have like something from Zara for that price? If you know what I mean? So yeah, this is kind of the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching as always. I'm so happy to be back on my schedule. I'm looking forward to next week already. So I will, yeah, I'll see you next Thursday. Bye.